as I was sanding, getting the dash cleaned up after I uh, put the radio in, or after I got the radio hole cut out, got some little bit of filler on, I decided I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning the back up. And the back, somebody put loads and loads of filler in. I find this on the back and I gotta say I was not impressed it's you know a half inch thick of nothing but mud that someone laid all the way across instead of actually fixing the issue which tells me this metal is probably foobar I can see down here all that was re-welded with extra pieces in making it all look you know reattached we got all kinds of rot there so at this point, I have come to the conclusion I'm going to have to drill out all my little pieces, or not here, but here. I'm going to have to drill out all of them, take out all of this, all of that, remove the seat, and basically remove this entire panel. I'm probably going to cut to about here leave this in so I can drill all that out and take that out real flush instead of just trying to make a cut which I don't know if I trust myself yet in cutting that out on the line so I'm gonna cut below it from there on the outside I'll probably end up cutting lightly into it and remove this whole one this whole panel to put in a big back window kit I have reached out to a couple companies about their big back window kit to see if they would like to sponsor me in creating a video on how to properly remove the panel, what happens when you do have rot, and go from there. And I would make an announcement. But I have yet to hear back, so I'm assuming no one's going to sponsor me. So I'm going to go ahead and remove everything like I normally would, even without one. And, uh,. If I have to buy it, I have to buy it. I don't have the skills yet to try to make it. So, yep, that's going to be my next project. So I pulled these off with pretty much just three little tools. First thing I did, as you can see by the shininess, I took a grinder and I just went back and forth to try to find where my holes were. Second one I went into, grinder, die grinder, round tip carbide, or pointy rounded carbide tip. And all I did was just kind of go in and shave a little off and take the screwdriver and bend each one back to get into the next one. But I bent it back on a corner back here where it's not making any damage to the vehicle. Unlike others, I don't like the patina look. I'm going to be shaving or sanding all of that down and repainting to the color of my choice, which is still up in the air right now. And I find out, found out that the top three pivots, one, two, three, they broke on their own. They didn't even wait for me to come in with the tip and pop it. Uh, there's probably still one right there I need to take out 